Okay, um, so we're going to talk about the, I guess, third encounter, or his second boss, uh, the axe guy here in the incursion. This room is kind of uh, interesting. You've got a whole bunch of shapes or symbols on the ground um, throughout, and each one of them has a sprinkle system over top of them. Um, the boss is going to come through this wall once somebody goes close to it, and then what we have to do is run the boss around um, and get him into these these symbols and squirt him, shower him, and then do lots of damage to him. Um, that's the goal for us. What we're going to do for this setup is one healer and three DPS. We're still going to be using the strikers as usual. We're going to have one person that will grab the eye from the boss and we'll start to run around. Just run around the back room and the stage and the booth, the back room. He's just going to keep running. He's not going to stop. He's not going to try and build stacks. He's just going to run and run and run and run. Um, if you stop, he'll hit you, uh, he'll foam you, he'll slow you down, and then he'll bleed you out and kill you. Um, so rather than let that happen, whoever has the eye or the aggro uh, will just keep running. You'll see it because you'll have a circle under your feet. Um, it's a little tough to see sometimes, but if you have it, he will run for you. The DPS that are not kiting the boss are going to be oh, kind of up in this area here. The adds are going to spawn. They'll come out of these doors here and here, and then on the other side, over there and over there. The, ad, the DPS are going to kill the adds. Once the adds are all down, we have a, a window of opportunity to damage the boss. They're going to take him over to one of the symbols, call it which one it is, and there's some valves in the back room that we can't see until after the fight or after the, he breaks the wall down. Um, so we'll show you that afterwards. We'll go over what each one is. But um, they'll call out what's, what place they got to and they'll say go for water or send or go. Um, once they shower him, then that's our brief moment to do damage. As the healer, what I'm going to be trying to do is shoot him with my Scorpio um, to proc the extra 20% Scorpio damage buff on him. And then I'm going to try and throw a sledgehammer on it. So if I know that they're going to this circle here, I'll throw my grenade down um, as he's getting there so that the shower will hit him, he'll be sledged, and then we'll switch to our Scorpio and get the 20% proc right away. In between each one, after we get to certain thresholds on the health bar, we're going to drop a heal hive down. Um, everybody's going to stand in it because the boss is going to wipe the room. He'll do a, a bunch of damage to you, but if you're at full armor, it won't kill you. And we just rinse and repeat that a few times. Um, once we get to his last armor bar, he seems to have a timer on him. If you don't kill him after the last armor bar, he will eventually blow the room up again, but this time it won't, it'll, it'll kill you outright. Um, so make sure you kill him quickly once you break his last armor. Uh, the last armor bar does not need a shower before you do the damage. So your last bar of armor once you break it, you just you just shoot him, just kill him. All right. So one of the major mechanics to the um, the right boss here is the valves and the shower. Uh, the boss has that purple fire on him that makes him immune, and the only way to get rid of it is to shower him with the the valves. So what we're looking for is the valve to get up to 99%. Once that is at 99, you can see that we have the option to turn the valve. We also have a little diagram showing where it's going to use the shower. This one is called booth, or a lot of people call it restaurant or seating or, or whatever, but booth is um, what we try to call it out. And you can see that it shows three squares to it. These are the three squares where it's going to be, and you can see the sprinkle head above it. So you want to get the boss onto one of the, the squares and then have the other guy turn the valve. What we were finding is quite often if it was on this square or on the stage where it was close to, to um, the guy turning the valve, the right's swing would go right through the wall and still hurt them. This one right here, this is we call this uh, dance floor or ballroom. Um, this valve here will use the, the shower on these two circles right here. We have on the stage as well, this one right here, 
um, the two squares on the ground is this one right here. So this one's called stage. What we found again was often there was purple flame on it, or if we were trying to get this square, trying to turn the valve was tough because the guy would hit through the wall and knock, uh, stagger the guy here. Because of that, we started to go to the dance floor. It was far enough away. And we started going to the second um, one on the booth there. The other important thing is that if you hit the valve, you get the eye. So if you get the eye and you run away from the boss, the boss will come into this room, making it very difficult for your DPS to shoot the boss. You'll notice that what we do is we hit the valve and then we move into the room. Uh, this way the boss is fully exposed. We will roll away from the boss as needed, but we're trying to keep the boss outside where everybody can shoot. Same thing when we do it over here on the booth one, we'll hit the booth and then we'll move up like this to go and shoot the boss. Keep uh, pay attention to that so that you can see that you're not taking the boss inside. This is the last valve. This one has, uh, this one's referred to as the bar and it's three circles. Um, these ones here. We try to avoid this one because there's a lot of debris in the way for the DPS to shoot it. We found that we can do booth once and then by the time we clear the ads, the, the dance room is ready. Um, once we clear the ads, then the booth is ready again. So we bounce between those two. We found that it was the easiest. It was the ones to not get knocked around. Um, and that's what we did. So I'm going to get Sally here to turn this valve so that you guys can see when he turns it, that it showers them over here. Sally, if you don't mind turning that valve so we can see. You can see it showers them. The shower is not very long, so you want to call for the shower just as they're inside the, the square. If they're not inside the square, it'll, um, it'll be a short shower and running through the bot. If the boss runs through the shower, it doesn't seem to work. It has to be while he's on there. All right, um, I'm going to get Sally to turn this one here. So this is the ballroom and we're looking for down at the dance floor. Sally, go for it. Turn that valve. You can see it showered at the farther ones down here. We'll get Sally to turn this one right here and you'll see that the stage, the two square ones closest to me will go. So Sally, go ahead for it. You can see that the shower is very quick and the last one's going to be the bar here. I'm going to step out here so you can see it. Again, we try to avoid this one, but if you need to use it, then go for it Sally when you're ready. All right, so I'll be doing the healer roll first. Um, it's going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to put a heal hive down here like this. This will keep our DPS healed. If the DPS say that they're going to go to the bar to clear the ads, um, what we'll do is get ready to chem launcher them. They should go to this part of the bar first, and then that way they can clean out the, uh, the rest side. And we'll be able to heal them from here. They'll have some cover. It'll be safe for them to do that. We'll also be trying to keep an eye on the person running around the room. Um, if they make a mistake and, and they stop or get hit, um, we can he we can heal them with a chem launcher and uh, it'll allow them to get hit and still survive. Um, it's pretty quick timing to do that though, so uh, it's very possible that if they don't just keep running that the healer won't be able to heal them in time. Um, anytime it's time to do damage, we will get ready to prep the area by throwing a grenade a fire grenade on the area that they're going to be going to to shower the boss and then we will be proccing our scorpio damage on them as well with that being said let's give this a go so we're going to start by putting our heal hive down here put it over here just in case um, sally gets hit he'll be able to run and get some heals the two dps are going to try and stay inside Agent, and we're going to start to proc our scorpio so we're gonna go with six shots Please. to him that means our seventh one is gonna do the 20 percent more damage that that and we're just gonna try and help shoot and put opportunistic on any of the enemies that we see it looks like there's one more ad in the corner <coughs> coming out now perfect oh. Okay, going for the booth. Be doing the booth one first, so as the boss gets close here, 
I'm going to throw the fire grenade on it. Okay, grenade thrown on him. Nice. Go ahead and shoot him. We put our Scorpio proc on him. We've done the damage, so now everybody goes right. to the hive. Everyone to the hive, please. He's going to blow up the room. Once he does, we're going to pick up our hives so that we can get some of our charges back. Once everybody's healed, we pick it up. There'll be a few seconds before the next uh, ad spawn. Chico, you have eye, so you're going to... Um... You're going to start running. Hive is back down. We're going to help them shoot any ads to get opportunistic on them. Chico is just going to keep running. He's going to try and avoid the players. But the boss won't do anything until then. And the ads are down. Let's do dance floor next. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my hive over here. <laughs> Let me know. Go for water. Go for water. Okay, we're going to do damage to him. We've got the sledge on him. We've got Scorpio proc. Going to try and get him to that threshold. You can see on the armor bar there's a, a little marker. Everybody to the heal hive. So he's going to come blow the room again. We just put our hive down for it. The next time that we go for damage, there will be a heavy that comes out. Once we heal everybody. We just pick our hive up. Actually, I'm going to overcharge it so we get our hives back quicker. Ammo is open if anybody needs. Um, Sally, you have eye. Keep running. Heavy behind you. Yep. yep. We're going to try and get Enjoy. our shots on to right. Oh, sniper that. Let's go get the sniper. As in the room. Okay, and then we're going to make sure that Two these guys are healthy. Right here. Sally, keep running. He's right on you. Mm. We're going to do booth for the last one. I have no more fire grenades, so Angel I'm going to quickly switch to this one. We're ready when you guys are. Yeah, ready. I'm going for boot. <coughs> Go for Head. it. Okay. We put sledge on. Now we're going to shoot right as fast as we can. Distance. I totally forgot the yields. Maybe we should do that one again. Yeah. Alright, so we didn't do enough damage to him. We're going to have one more uh, damage phase to go, and then we have to kill him straight outright. Uh, guys, don't kill him, though. Yeah, heads are up. Oh, boy. Who's got the eye? Yeah, I got this. Okay, I'll run him. Alright. Oh, I'm going to... Oh, shit. Alright, so they are killing their ads. We're going to try and put Opportunistic on them. We're going to keep Sally healed. Go. No more ads. It's going to be dance floor. Alright, oh, so we're going to... Bring them over. Come over here. We have very few heals, so we're just going to know. Right. put what we have down. We'll use chem launchers if we have to. Go, Go for, for it. it. Go for water. Down. And then we want him to kill here, but we're not going to do that. I'll be doing the role of kiting this time. Um, I'm going to be using the coyotes and the seska uh, striker. Just to, to use it this time, um, you can also go with the Fox Prayer Coyotes, that's often the one that I use. But um, four piece striker, we're going to be using the chest for it, we're going to be using the rock and roll to build the stacks and the same ammo to do more damage. Um, 
so we're going to be kiting. We're going to be getting the eye and running around. And we'll be switching with Sally. Sally will be the other kiter. And we're going to go from here. So to get this started, uh, we simply walk up to the stage. I'm going to shoot him with my rock and roll to just build my stacks. And I'm going to start running. Um, the stacks aren't there to do damage. If the if the guys kill the adds quickly, then we'll be able to help do more damage when it comes time for damage phase. So we're just going to run. We've got fire there, so we're just going to take a longer one. we got some guys here, so we're going to drop our decoy for them. And we just run until they tell us it's time to go for uh, damage phase. can see they're still killing some at the bar, so we just keep running. Ads are down. Alright, they said ads are down, so we're going to be going to the booth to start. We're going to make sure that we're on our, our rock and roll. We're going to build our stacks as best we can, and we're going to say go for it. Once he steps on, I just step forward, mm -hmm. and then roll backwards. We shoot him as best we can, and we switch to our St. Elmo when we're low on bullets. Our goal is to get him under that first marker. Everybody shoots, everybody shoots. Okay, once he's done, we just come stand over here inside the heels. Sally now has the eye. You can see he's got the circle under his feet. So I'm going to be clearing ads this time. We just stay inside the heel hive. We're going to be throwing decoys at the door. We're going to kill the ads that come out. And then we're going to kill the ads that go at the bar. Heads out. Okay, then we look over to the bar. I'm going to the bar to clear the ads. I don't see any more ads. So we're going to say that the next one we're going to go to is the dance floor. Dance floor. We're just going to build our stacks here. Okay, he's now gonna run to me, so I'm gonna leave the room so that the DPS can still shoot him. If I go backwards into the room, then we're gonna have some trouble. We've got him to the second tick on the health bar, so we're gonna go back to the heels now. You can see that my feet have the circle. That means he's gonna be coming for me, so once I get full health, I can start to run away. <clears throat> Alright, he's chasing me now, so we're just going to take a loop. Heavy on the back of the boot. While they kill everything. Our next goal is to kill him That's outright far. if we can. Um, there will be an, a heavy that spawns. If the heavy spawns, uh, one of the guys should focus on the heavy real quick and then do damage to him. If we don't have enough damage, it's okay if this one takes two phases to kill, but that heavy yeah, can wipe know. you guys out pretty quick if he spawns in behind you. Said mm. ads are down, so we're going to go to the booth. We're going to take him over here, and same thing, once he steps on the square, I'm going to step forward, and then roll backwards. Go for it. Mm. And then we're just going to shoot him, and we're going to try and kill him here. Mm. Heavy's on me. Kill the heavy real quick, and then go right back to right. Once we get to the last armor tick there, you can see that now he has no armor left. He won't get his immunity back and we can just kill him. Uh, so this time we're going to be doing the DPS roll, but we're not going to be kiting. Our goal will be to kill all the adds and then do damage to the boss. Uh, for this fight, I'll just be running the strikers with coyotes and fox pair knee pads. Um, I've got my crit chance on my fox pair knee pads and then crit damage on everything else and um, that's it so we're gonna clear ads and then do damage to the boss ready when you guys are So we just watch the door for them to come out. Please be careful, agent. 
We'll try and build our stacks up so we do more damage quickly. Alright, I'm gonna head to the bar. Gonna try and clear the ads that we see over here. No more ads. No more right. ads. They're down, so we're gonna go back to where the heals are. Going to her booth. <clears throat> He's coming to the booth, so we're gonna build our stacks up. Go for, go for it. it. We're a little bit close yeah. there. But we're gonna do our damage now to him. We wanna get him past that first marker on the, the health bar. We can keep our stacks up by just shooting still. He's immune, but we're still keeping our striker stacks up, so that we'll be able to kill the adds quickly. They're still full of alcohol. That cleaner just found another accelerant. Okay, we're gonna throw a decoy by this door. We're gonna have adds spawning in a second. And then we're gonna go look for oh, another one behind me. And we're gonna look for the bar. They're sitting that by the pool table. That one didn't like me. Okay. You got it, Sally. <coughs> when Sally gets it, we'll go to the next area. Yeah. All right. Down. Okay. Going to the dance, dance floor. floor. We're gonna do dance floor next. So we're gonna get over here. We're gonna get ready to build our stacks. Go for it. Alright, we're just going to shoot him. He's going to be running to the stage now, so we want to position ourselves in a way that we can hit him in a straight line. We've gone past the threshold, so we're going to go back up to here. And once again, we can keep building our stacks if we need to. If you need ammo, there's an ammo case in this room over here. I'm going to go grab it and get back to the guys. We're going to have more ads coming out and a heavy is going to spawn this time. Ads out. The heavy's heavy on me. Yeah. Heavy is down. Once we got the ads down from here, we're going to look over at the bar. And see if we have them. There's one sniper. It's down. Ads are down. Okay. Going to the booth. We're gonna do booth. booth again, so as the boss comes around, we're gonna build our stacks off of him again. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. Get ready, Hugo. Ready. Go, go, go. <coughs> Alright, so we're just gonna shoot until we I'll kill him. Take care of the heavy. Okay, and stop. All right, guys, for this one, uh, we're going to try and replicate wipe mechanic. Um, so there's a wipe mechanic after each of the damage phases that doesn't kill you, and there seems to be another one that kills you outright. We're going to see if we can replicate that. I believe our theory currently is that if you take too many damage phases, then he will destroy the, the whole room. Um, I believe he comes and hits these pipes and puts the, the purple fire on the ground. And I think once he runs out of pipe, the whole room explodes. You can hear one of the, when we start it, you can hear the um, narrator tell us that, you know, the room's going to fill up and uh, it'll kill us. Um, so that's what I think it is if we take too long. Either it's on a timer or it's based on the number of pipes that he breaks. We're going to see if we can replicate that by only doing a little bit of damage each damage phase. Alright, so I'll be using the same striker build that we've been using. We're just not going to do a lot of damage when it comes time to the showers. Here we go. Go for it. Okay. Let's hit him. we got some shield guys behind us, so be careful. Alright. Be careful. Alright, so let's do one bar of armor again, see if he breaks the pipe this time. Right, like maybe the first one's kind of a freebie. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. So just one bar again, guys. Okay. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. That's enough. Okay, yeah, there's a pipe there and a pipe there. So he's got these two mm -hmm. left to go. Okay. Yeah, he's going immune. Uh, he's, he's breaking. Okay, he's so, it is, yeah, so it is. Yeah, so it is this definitely. Um, so do like half an armor bar here. Let's see what happens. Okay. I don't. Sh I want you to vibrate. Go for it. Yeah. Okay, right there. No. Yeah, because if you see when he puts out more purple, like the right there, okay, the room gets more. Burning burning. I can see like there's stuff all over the place, right? Your screen is starting yeah. to feel like when he it gets really hot. Okay, he broke another one there. I don't think we even I have don't. to damage him. Then it is the showers, right? The number of shower phases. I uh, don't damage him at all here, guys. Let's see what he does. Okay. Go purple. Yeah, so he runs around yes. once he gets uh, his Until fire back. he goes immune. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. He's, He's running for a pipe. This one. Yeah. Okay, so he's got one more on the stage that I can see. Adds out, adds out. And it's getting tougher to run. Uh, so we'll do no damage again here, guys. Okay. Yeah, but opening ammo box. Somebody. All right, I'm in position. Go for it. Okay, no damage to the boss. Oh, rushes in the meat. He's running for you, Sally. Watch out. Okay, so the boss has gone immune. He's gonna go hit the last pipe. <coughs> Here he is hitting the last pipe. Okay. This guy is seriously unhinged. Oh, this is gonna be it. Yeah, this is it. Right there, there it is. All right, so <laughs> if you have the pipes blown on all of them, you can see that he's got the white mechanic on his uh, health bar right now. Say when. Uh, when? Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. All right. So then, if he goes immune this time, he's got nothing left to break, right? All right. Get ready. No. Do he get the break? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, it broke the tent. <coughs> there it is. Oh, this is it. Yep. Well, I guess you've pissed him off, and now he's more deadly and furious. Bye-bye. This is the big, big one, isn't it? Yeah, this uh, is the big one. Look at that. Yeah, there it is. Oh. Okay, guys. Once Wright's first arm bar tick has been broken, he will begin to break the pipes to put out the purple flames on the floor. If enough damage phases have gone through and he has not been killed yet, all six pipes will have been broken and he will enter his enraged state. Once taken past his last armor bar tick and there are no more pipes to be broken, he will enter his white mechanic. He will go to the stage, drop his canister, drop his axe, and wipe the team. Alright, we're going to be talking about the Lovebirds, the last encounter on the incursion. Uh, that's the two of them right there. The uh, smaller one, the thinner one, he's pretty dangerous. He's got some shock ammo um, and shock grenades, and he has a turret that he'll throw um, it'll do crazy, crazy damage to you, and it's super fast and very, very difficult. 
We tried a few different strategies for this and found that just burning the boss as quick as we possibly could was m way more simple than dealing with that turret. If we uh, don't manage to w do one phase of damage to Johnson and kill him, we're going to have to deal with this turret being thrown around um, every so often. If that happens, you will hear us call out sniper or, or turret and we'll call out places where it is. Um, the turret becomes the highest priority if that's the, the part. But before we get to that turret, um, we have a couple things are going to happen. Um, we're going to send two people to the left and two people to the right. We're going to try and separate the lovebirds. The lovebirds have a drone um, that is a defender drone and a healer drone. If one of the bosses takes some damage, the drone will be sent to the boss that has taken the damage. It'll heal them up and make them immune. And while that drone is passing between the two of them, that's our time to do damage to the, the drone itself. Once the drone is destroyed, they're going to run back up to this spot where they are right now and try and repair that drone. If you can do enough damage, they won't repair the drone. Johnson will just die and then you'll continue on to the next phase of the fight. Uh, once they go to the middle, what we're doing is we typically run up to the stairs on the left here by the lion statue. We found that if you stay close to the lion statue, the first turret that he throws will always be on top of the, the head of the lion. That means as soon as you see him doing the animation to throw it, you look up on the top of the lion head and you shoot it and destroy it before it even um, turns itself on. If you stay too close to the back wall, where that structure where they are, he'll tend to throw it right up top here. That makes it very difficult for you to hit when you're underneath it, um, which is okay. That means you can do enough damage to Johnson, but the second you run out, it will hit you. It takes a few seconds before it um, disappears after Johnson dies. So that's typically where we try to be, as close to the lion statue. As we talked about before, we have a bunch of different specializations. Ideally, we would have one demo striker, one firewall striker, one gunner striker, and one uh, survivalist healer. Um, <clears throat> the heals, the healer is going to put a heal hive on the left side, just on the ground, and the two DPS on the left are going to try and play inside that heal hive the whole time. The healer will then go to the right and help the DPS that's on the right um, to kill the adds and keep them healed. Our goal will be to separate the two lovebirds, one to the left and one to the right, but they don't always cooperate. It seems when you have the green eye, that's the one for Johnson, um, that typically just means you're going to get shock, uh, shot with his shock bullets. He doesn't tend to follow you, he seems to go wherever he wants to go on his own. Um, the other one, She's got a flamethrower that will burn you from a very long range, so you want to keep your distance from her as much as possible. Um, she tends to follow you better, so if you get close to her and shoot her, she tends to give you the eye, and then she'll follow you a little bit more, but the eye will also jump around randomly too. It's, um, it's a little wonky. But the goal will be to try and separate them. If they're still close together you, and you have enough damage, you can still hurt one of the bosses, have the drone send between them, and shoot the drone while it's moving. So I'm going to start by going over to the right side for DPS. I'll be using the same striker build that I've been using throughout. I've been running the coyote's mask so the, um, the other guys don't have to. With that being said, I think we're ready to get started. What we want to do is come out here and wait for the healer to put the heal hive out, and then we'll try and grab the attention of the boss. Our ads on the right side will come out Heels of a few out. spots. They can come out of the sewer, they can come out of this door, they can come out from over there. All right, so first thing is to avoid the two mortars that come out. And then we want to try and grab the eye. I have Martina as well. Lovebirds organized this invasion. You need to be prepared for anything. Rumor is they have access to Shade Tech. So, not we're sure gonna try and kill the ads real quick and not burn to death. Alright, let me know when you guys on the left have your ads down. Rogue Defender Drone uh, detected. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start to hit Hostile Martinez defender. now. Detected. Once we do one bar of armor damage, the drone's going to get sent to us. 
So watch that. We're gonna do damage as soon as we can. Drone's on the way, so we're gonna start to shoot it. And we wanna try and destroy it. Now that Martinez has it, we're gonna do damage to Johnson. Once Johnson takes damage, the drone's gonna go between the two of them. Immediate medical assistance needed. Okay, so we're just gonna shoot Johnson. And then we're gonna get this drone, we're gonna start to shoot it as it goes along. Once it destroys, you can do pre-damage to Johnson, so he's gonna be immune for a second. But shooting him will build your stacks and then it will start to do damage to him. <clears throat> we're all gonna run up the left side and stay close to the lion statue here. Okay, he's throwing it to the turret now. And we're gonna shoot that turret down real quick and go right back to Johnson. He's gonna put a heal box down. He's gonna take that heal box down. And then we're gonna go back to Johnson. Okay, now that um, Johnson is down, we're just gonna run around. We're gonna avoid the adds and the mortars. Sorry, we're gonna avoid the mortars and we're gonna kill the adds. Once the adds are down, we'll do damage to Martinez. We typically okay. We typically put the heal hive in the middle. Um, that way, people can dip into it as needed. But we want to get the adds down as best we can and avoid the mortars. Heal down. Okay, so we have heals in the middle, and Diego already overcharged to give the hives back. Now that we've done damage to the adds, we can start to hit Martinez. And just avoid the mortars, so keep shooting and moving. Sally's got the eye, so he's gonna bring her into the heals. Typically I like the person that has the eye to be in the heals, and everybody else can run around outside and shoot as needed. Okay. You can see I got hit by a mortar, but the heals kept me alive. What's going on? What? Okay. Now that the adds have spawned again, we're all gonna run away. And we're gonna take care of the adds. Again, typically the person that has the red eye is better served to stay near the heals and just run around. Don't worry about the adds too much. Let the other DPS kill the adds and then come back to us. Once the adds are down, we go back to Martinez. All right, adds are down, so we're gonna hit Martinez again. Okay guys, uh, this time we're gonna be talking about the DPS for the left side. We'll still be using the strikers, so we're still using the group composition um, of demo, firewall, and survivalist. Uh, gunner if you have an extra spot, but uh, the other three first, and then gunner last if you can do that. That would be ideal. Otherwise, demo, um, survivalist, and firewall. What we're going to be doing is uh, going to the left. We're going to wait till the heal hive gets thrown out. We're going to shoot at Johnson. Ideally, if we can get Johnson's eye or one of the eyes and take them to the left side, we're going to try and hang out in the heal hive. Um, so we'll avoid the two mortars. Whoever has the eye will take cover inside the heals, and the other DPS on the left will try and go kill the adds that spawn. Um, Sally, maybe I can get you to go shoot uh, Johnson for me, if you're the one going to the left with me. Um, you'll shoot Johnson after the heal hive goes out, and I'll try and go for the adds. All right, okay. let's go for it. Then you go right, you go, go left. All right, so we're going to go... Um, right. Heals out. Hive is out. We're tra Sally tried to hit, shoot Johnson. So we're going to try and stay inside here. The first adds that will spawn, we just run to avoid those mortars. The first adds that spawn will be out over here. Alright, we got two of them here. So we're going to kill these guys real quick. Ours are down. How about Chico? If they have yep. answer them on the right. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go shoot Martinez here. Rogue defender drone detected. Can you get it to the heels, Sally? Hostile defender drone detected. 
Um, so we're gonna do damage to Martinez. Once we get past that one armor bar, she's gonna call for her drone. So we're gonna shoot that drone along the way. Once we destroy the drone, we're all gonna run over here. If we see Johnson, we can pre-fire on him. Okay, once we see him throw the turret, right there, we look up to the ledge, the line, we shoot it. We go right back to Johnson, if he puts the heel hive down, we're gonna go and shoot the heel hive. The heel hive is down now, we just shoot the box there on the left. We go right back to Johnson. Alright, he's gone, so now we run around. If anybody dies, we'll pick them up. I've switched to my card custom, I'm gonna put that down. It gives me two revive hives for it. We now have ads, so I'm gonna pick up my revive hive because I may need it. We're gonna go kill the um, ads that are spawning while avoiding the mortars. Once the heals are in the middle, we'll be able to heal. We just clear up any adds that are left. Heals are going down. And then we do damage to the boss. Alright, so then we group up in the middle. Whoever's got the eye should run around inside the heals. Everybody else should be doing damage from outside. And dipping in the heals only Slide if they going need it. This will keep the mortars. Um, it'll prevent. Up. It'll prevent every single person dying to a single mortar, uh, which we've had happen before. Once the ads spawn again, you just call out ads and head over to the ads. Ads are out. Mortars. So now we want to look for the ads and clear them up again. Once the ads are down, we would do final boss damage. Alright guys, this time I'll be doing the healing for the lovebirds um, for the last boss on the incursion. The way that we've been doing it is using the regular uh, raid healer build um, that we've been talking about with the BTSU gloves. I find that being able to overcharge for the uh, people that lose their hives is invaluable. Um, we're also going to be using the setup so that we have the perfect opportunistic on it. You know, to take that extra 15% uh, give that extra 15% damage to the bosses is very important. Um, with that being said, I'm going to go and throw the hive on the left side, and then I'm going to go help the DPS on the right side. I'm going to try and keep both of us alive on the right, but I'm a terrible healer, so we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. So we're going to put our heal hive over on the left. We're just going to throw it on the ground. Um, I find that it's easier to pick up to go to the middle when it's just on the ground versus on the planter or something like that. And then we're gonna go over here and help Diego. We're gonna avoid the two mortars that mm, pop yeah, out. I got both on. Okay. We got Johnson. Right? We have Johnson over here. He's a big annoying one. No shit. Those lovebirds. If the lovebirds organize this invasion. You need to be prepared oh, for anything. Rumor is they have access okay. to I just have Johnson. Not sure if Conley made them honorary so what we're going to try and do know. is prep the kid with a couple of shots. To make sense when our first team was Put six shots on, and so we'll be able to get the 20% bonus. Rogue defender drone detected. When you guys have your ads down on left, you can do it. Yep. Alright, so once Martinez loses an armor bar, she's going to call for the drone. I'm going to put my last... Um, Scorpio proc on it. They're gonna do extra damage to it, and I'm gonna head over towards the hive. Agent down. Zoom down. You got jam too, Diego. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna overcharge. Nope, I'll go pick it up. All right, we're gonna throw the hive up to where they are. Get ready to shoot the turret. It's up. Okay. We're gonna go and throw our sledgehammer on the boss. And we're gonna keep propping opportunistic for them. 
Heal hives down. Go for the heal hive. Just keep procking and dropping some heals. Once Johnson dies, we're gonna go for a run. Pick up your hive and run away. We're gonna put the heals in the middle. If anybody needs it, they'll pop over there. Ooh, Our job will just be to put opportunistic on any enemies that we see. And call it whenever we see ads or anything. There's an ad over by me. Just running any which way to avoid the mortars. Yeah. Once Sally gets up, we're gonna overcharge. Looks like we have damage uh, sniper. A sniper on the gate. Okay, overcharging. Immediate medical assistance needed. We're just gonna keep running while we have the eye. Once we get enough charges, more we're gonna I go got him again. and put our hive down in the middle again. All right, they've done damage to the ads. Now they're going to do damage to the boss, and we're just going to try and heal anybody that we can. Vital science critical. Oh, out of action. I'll grab Sally. Oh, yeah. Watch the mortar, Diego. Yeah. Got ads out. Okay, once we get our hard charges back, we're going to put it in the middle. Mm, Sniper over by cheaper. left. We got it. Good, you rolled into my heels. All right, so we're just gonna keep um, opportunistic on, and we're gonna throw a sledge out. If we hit them, she didn't run into it. Nope, I'm dead. Nope, Serious we're dead. Okay, so they're gonna go to ads now. We don't have eyes, so we can put opportunistic on wherever. Avoid the mortars. Heal who we can. I'll be overcharging soon. Keep doing damage to the boss. Yeah. If you have grenades, you can do sledge. I don't have grenades right now, so. Mm. Uh, 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 we going all the way? Yeah. Yep. Unless you use something else. Nope. Alright, so then the last thing to do would be to kill any of the ads that are left. Oh, avoid the mortars. 